Hello everybody, my name is Preston. Thank you for tuning in to this very special edition of uh, the Game Yanks. Um, the first thing that you'll notice is I'm by myself. The second thing you'll notice is that I'm in the comfort of my own home. Hashtag, where's church? Uh, we're playing Fallout 4 because I was blessed to have a uh, early release copy of it. So um, we're just gonna take a look at it. I'm just gonna play around, have some fun, show you guys what it's about. So, I hope you enjoy it. Um, here we go. So, this is the really cool start screen. It just kind of shows you like a garage with a bunch of tools and some power armor and a pit boy. Pretty neat. There's like a Gatling gun down there in the corner. I've already played this for a couple of hours. This is actually my second time trying to record for this. So, um, I'm going to just load up the game where I've been playing and we're just gonna go have a good time so um, I've really enjoyed this game so far what I've played of it it's been super fun to, to just go play around with um, I, I haven't got too far into the story just because uh, I, d I didn't want to ruin too much of it before I had time to really sit down and, and devote to it so most of my time has been just going through the wasteland and finding weapons and killing random things so uh, I don't know I just wanted to show it off a little bit so really long load times that is the the one bad thing about it so far that I've noticed is the load times are are kinda crazy so Okay, so here we are. Um, I don't know why I'm crouched down, but whatever. So let's put my weapon away here. Um, I don't want to play in first person view just because I like playing in first person view. So let's take. Man, that guy had a ton of stuff. More at. Okay. Nothing in any of this stuff. So here's a weapons workbench. So this is one of the one things that I wanted to show off. It's really cool. Uh, at these weapon weapons workbenches, you can take any weapon that you have and um, upgrade it or change it. So like for instance, if we take this pistol and we go to modify, there's the receiver, the barrel, the grip, the magazine, the sights, and the muzzle. And so every one of those you can create new parts for. So um, if any like the receivers, these are all the different receivers that you can create for this particular pistol um, and like the grip there's three types of grips that you can uh, you can pick from and you have to find the correct uh, what's the word I'm looking for um, elements and that's not the right word stuff so this one like that that grip requires four adhesive three rubber two screws and four steel so uh, you find that stuff by um, either finding it or you can scrap something. So I have two of those pistols. If I scrap that, I'll get four steel. And like this shotgun, I'll get three steel and some wood because I have two of those. So let's do that. So now we just have some random stuff. Uh, so that's like the basis for crafting, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then there's uh, town crafting as well. So, um, let me see if I can bring up the town crafting menu. I think I can only do that while I'm in Sanctuary. Uh, we'll come back to that. But for now, let's, uh, let's head this direction. And I'm going to take out my pistol. Just so that I'm ready. The game looks gorgeous. Uh, it, it definitely is an improvement over Skyrim even. Um, probably not so much Skyrim with the mod packs that people have put out, but... Oh, that is not a friendly Mr. Gutsy. So, we can use vats here, uh, because that makes... Oh! Whoa! I was not expecting that. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> Fantastic. Well, let's see where it puts me. Uh, right back here. Okay. Well, alrighty. Let's, uh, let's try that again. I, I don't normally use vats, uh, when I'm playing Fallout, just because I think it's more fun to not use it. But some people like it, so it, it does make a return. Let's see. Who is that guy? Collegiate Administration Building. Are you good or bad? Protect drawn. Protect and serve. Okay. Cool. I hear gunshots. Who's shooting? Let's go see if we can find this uh, this firefight. Probably not a good idea to run into firefight, but. So one cool thing that they added was the ability to, um, I, I don't know added, but you can melee, if I'm in close with my pistol, I can like pistol whip this guy. So, and I'm going to need to heal. So the Pip-Boy makes, uh, makes it, uh, not, what was the word I'm looking for? Um, Pip-Boy comes back. <laughs> um, so let's drink... Something. Let's let that heal us back up here. Whoa! I'm gonna switch my shot down here. Yay, we did it! Hi. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. Um, so here's something that's really cool is that the characters, uh, your character is completely voiced, so... I prefer to keep my business to myself. Then, if there's nothing left to discuss, I when I pick what I want to say, um, they will like the character voices what what the answer is instead of just taking you know what it says in the uh, in in the dialogue tree is is what your character says. Now it's there's actually like fully fleshed out Paladin dance dialogue, so it's pretty cool. Um, I'm just trying to survive out here. Like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I help you fight those ferals. This would be much easier for both of us if you'd cooperate. Now, where are you from? I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the commons, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. That all depends. How much are you paying? So you're a mercenary. <laughs> Typical. Fine. It's funny because I'm not normally that way, but he's from the Brotherhood of Steel. They've got some bottle caps they can spare. Over there, describe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may. Proceed, Halen. So here's something that's really cool is I can decide to move, and once I do, it cuts out of that cinematic scene for the dialogue, and now I'm just able to walk around freely. The deep range transmitter. We 
infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Sure. No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. All right, so that's uh, gonna set me up for my next set of missions. So um, that'll be that'll be cool. Uh, let's just take some stuff here. Um, one last thing I want to show you guys before before we go. Uh, I'm gonna bring up my map and I'm gonna travel back to Sanctuary, um, and show off. Where is? Let's see. There we go. Yeah. So I'm gonna travel back to Sanctuary. Sanctuary is like the uh, your your home base that you it, it's where your character is from when they first start the game and it's also where your it's your settlement so you get to build up the town with the buildings that you want and you fill it with electricity and protect it with turrets and things like that you can make workshops where you can do armor crafting weapon crafting and, and things of that nature so I just want to show off the um, crafting system here so, since I'm in this town, I can hold down, I'm playing on the PS4, so I'll hold down the, the touchpad right here, and it will bring up this menu, and so if I wanted to build, say, a structure, so I'll go in to the structures, and let's say we want to build it out of wood, and we'll go prefabs, and we'll get this, and, and line it up here where we want it and it push X and let's put put another one and another one okay cool um, no I don't know so then we can oh didn't mean to exit out go back up and let's do some walls just a, just a standard wood wall here whoa so yeah you can like grab stuff why won't you let me build a wall I don't mess with the I haven't messed with the crafting uh, a whole lot yet so I'm still trying to um, figure it out a little bit here but you can if you find something that you want so like this maple log that I have highlighted if I hit square I can scrap it and get 12 wood and here's some more trees so um, oh, I can't build that wall because I don't have steel I need steel to build those walls that's why it wouldn't let me place those okay that makes sense um, so that's fine um, but then there's like furniture, and so like if I wanted to place a bed for somebody, well, I don't have what I need for that either. Uh, don't really have what I need to craft any of this. Yeah, this was not a great, um, <laughs> not a great way to showcase this because I don't have anything. But yeah, you kind of get the idea. So there's just all this kind of stuff that you can craft, and you get to build up this entire town. Um, let's uh, let's see if I can knock down. Uh, yeah, let's go in here and um, scrap a bunch of stuff, and see if we can see if we can get some stuff. That house is actually okay. Let's see, what do we got in here? We'll just get rid of all the stuff that's broken and not worth keeping. There's a cigar. Interesting. Um, don't need a trash can. Ow. Rad roaches, and you'll notice that the the people in my settlement came and started shooting at these rad roaches. 
um, when they attacked me. So that was kind of cool. Let's see. Um, dog. <laughs> uh, what what can we scrap in here that's not? Yeah, let's not scrap their toilet. So I took the stuff out of that first aid kit and then scrapped the the actual first aid kit. So that was kind of neat. Um, let's see. There's something in this suitcase. Oh, okay. So let's unlock this. And you'll notice that the um, lock picking mechanic returns from previous Fallout games. And I think the Elder Scrolls games is pretty similar, um, if, if not the same thing. So, ooh, I got a hat. Let's put a hat on. Actually, you know what? I've got quite a bit of um, stuff here. But yeah, sure. Let's just let's put the, the hat on here. Let's wear some raider armor. Why don't we? Let's see what that looks like. Kind of silly with the hat. <laughs> uh, anyways, that's fine. I don't really care right now. So, um, yeah, that's that's kind of Fallout 4. Um, there, there's definitely a lot more to it than what I've shown, but I just wanted to make this. Uh, Quick little video for you guys to show you, you know, what it what it looks like, how it plays. So far I've had a blast with it. Everything has been good. There are some weird graphical glitches, especially with the mouth movements in the dialogue. Sometimes those get a little off and it looks a little funny. But for the most part, the game's been fantastic. Definitely play it. Yeah, this game is has been fantastic. The storyline seems a lot deeper. Um, it's definitely a lot more meaningful than Fallout 3 was. Um, so that's definitely a plus as far as that goes. Um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like down in the like area. Click the little thumbs up. Um, and leave a comment. If you are planning on going out tonight to pick out Fallout 4, pick up Fallout 4 at midnight. Um, and tweet at us at GameYanks. Like I said, hashtag where's church? He's not here. Where'd he go? I don't know. Thank you guys for watching, uh, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.